Before you begin casting, gather the material that you will need. The amount of material may vary for each patient due to size and age of patient. The materials for a thumb spike of cast are one 2 inch white fiberglass roll, one 2 inch color fiberglass roll, one 2 or 3 inch cotton roll, two inch or three inch stockinette, six inches of one inch stockinette, scissors, and cold water. To prepare for the thumb spike of cast, size the two inch or three inch stockinette from the MCP joints to two inches before the antecubical fossa and leave about three inches extra on each end of the stockinette. Do not open the fiberglass until you are ready to apply it because it will harden when exposed to air. Lastly, make sure you have cold water ready. The positioning for the thumb spica is the forearm is in neutral position with the thumb in neutral with their wrist extended at 30 degrees. This position is called a can in the hand or wine glass position. After you are done, clean your area and discard the water. Now we are going to do the thumb spica cast. So what you want to do is slide on the stockinette. You run it up for two or three inches on both ends. Cut at the base of the thumb, just a little nick. That's all you need. You don't need to make a big cut. And you can use three inch if you need to on the arm. I'm just using two inch. That's all you need. Then we'll take a, some one inch stockinette. And then you're going to cover the thumb. Okay, once you've done that, it's time to apply the cotton and I start at the wrist and then go around the thumb, make a three quarters cut, go around the base of the thumb and then come back up. Remember you want to cut away from the patient and you want a quarter cut right here and then going around the thumb and do that over again three times or two more times. So go around the hand, three quarters cut, go around the hand. And then also if you got patients got a long thumb, so I'll demonstrate right here for her. Uh, she had, uh, you can just go around the thumb a couple of times that would just provides some extra layer of padding. You can actually stop right here too. You got three layers right here and just go down 50-50 if you want to too. It's just a different way how to do it. What you want is just nice, easy, even layers. You don't want it too bulky. Go down, you set it, 50-50. Go down to the end, about three, length, three quarters length of the arm. Go around four times and that's all you need. You don't need a lot of layers. I mean, you can put an extra layer if you want to, but cast don't need a lot of layers. As long as it has two and you got everything uh, even throughout the whole cast, that's why we do the 50-50. You can go straight to fiberglass. All right. To roll the fiberglass, I'm just gonna start proximal. It doesn't matter which way you start, just all proximal, as long as you do it right. You get all the nice even layers. Going up 50-50, going around the hand, making sure you have at least a quarter or a half inch of cotton showing on the end. You want the palmer uh, crease nice and free, so that's why we felt for that MP joint. And do a three quarters cut, and then go around the thumb. Okay. Now if you notice for her, she has a smaller space right there. So what I can do is just come back and just do make sure you get down to like a nice half inch cut instead. You tuck it in a little bit easier that way. Then go around the hand again, then you go to the thumb. So when you go to the thumb, you come up here and do three layers. So do a quarter cut or an inch cut, however much space you need. For her, she just needs a little a little cut there, a half inch cut. And then come back around. Once you get your nice three layers, come back around the hand. Okay. Do another half inch cut or up to a half inch cut. 
and then go around the thumb. Go around the hand again. All right, do 50-50 from here. All right. Now you're ready to do your color, so go ahead and fold back the stocking up. You wanna go all the way to the tip, okay, with your fiberglass, okay? Fold back the stocking up. And remember for your thumb hole to come back, you go about a good inch, inch and a half, make a little cut. and then fold it back. As you can tell, our MP joints are free. Next, you get a color. Remember, we don't open the packages until you need them. So we'll start at the wrist here and go just like we did before, except this time I want to go around the thumb first. And then go around the hand. This way, so when you make this cut, you can actually work your way right down the hand instead of coming back around. So right here we got but they just lock them down, do 50 50. Remember, you don't have to use the whole roll of fiberglass. So, go around at the end, making sure you got at least a good quarter to half inch showing of stocking up. Cut it. Smooth it down. Rub it and mold it as it dries. Remember for a thumb spiker, we want 30 degrees extension at the wrist with the thumb in neutral. Kind of like if you were holding a can or a glass in your hand. All right, and that is the thumb spiker cast. This is the conclusion of this video and thank you for your time.